All right, everyone, welcome back to the Brad and Kyle channel. And today we're going to be talking about some of the basic fundamentals about bowling targeting. Stay tuned. So Brad, when we talk about bowling targeting, there's some key fundamentals that we need to be aware of because without the proper targeting system, without really understanding how to get lined up, bowling is very difficult. Mm -hmm. And you know, some of these fundamentals people may not necessarily be aware of or they need to refresh on. So what is the first fundamental that we need to be aware of when we start talking about bowling targeting? Well, before you can actually execute a good shot, you have to know what you want to happen. You have to visualize it in your head before you can physically pick up the bowling ball and execute. And visualization is something that we, we sometimes forget or we forget to do on one shot or we get lazy on it. Yes. But having that mental picture of where you want the ball to go down the lane, how you want it to go down the lane, how everything feels, all that picture that goes on in your head is the first step. It's essential because we can't execute without it. So once we have our visualization down, which it could be anything, like whatever picture you put in your head of what you want to do, it has to be there regardless of what that picture is. So once we have the visualization, what's next? Yeah, so what I like to do to help me visualize the shot is there's three sections of the lane that we need to pay attention to. You have the front part of the lane, around the dots, also called your laydown point. You have the arrows, the mid lane, a little bit farther down, and then you have your break point, which is gonna be down lane. So when you're visualizing the shot, I like to really try to paint a picture of what my ball is gonna, where my ball is going through on each section as it's going down the lane. So where am I laying it down? Where is it at uh, in the mid lane? Arrows is one of my focal points. And down lane, how far is the ball getting left to right? When I'm trying to visualize a shot, I really try to pay attention to these. Now, these are also focal points to look at. Some people look down lane, some people look at the arrows, some people look at the dots. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't matter, there's no right or wrong. We're not gonna tell you have to look at the dots, you have to look at the arrows. Because I look at the arrows and I know guys like Wes Mott looks right at the ground. I look at the dots. And he looks at the dots, exactly. So it's no right or wrong, but what we all have in common is we have already visualized that shot. That way, you know, we know exactly what's gonna happen. And as long as you know, you're producing the right thing, it doesn't matter what you're looking at. It's just all about accuracy, all about what you're comfortable with. So once we visualize a shot, you know, you have your kind of frames of reference of what you're trying to look at as far as your focal point. Brad, what, what's, what's next? I mean, we visualize a shot, What's next on the targeting system? Well, I mean, uh, you said it in the order. You know, you, someone told me a long time ago that they, they visualize where they want it to lay down, where it's going to be in the midway, and then where it's going to be down the break point, and then they draw that line back. Yeah. That's just a visualization. That, that isn't mandatory, but that's just their own way of visualizing. It. Right. So everyone's got their own way. Sometimes going in order, front, middle, back, and then draw it back down before you actually start your shot. Maybe that's a great process for you. Um, but before we can actually execute out there or throw a good shot, we need to be good with our feet. Before the ball can be good, we need to be good with our body. And th there's a lot of accuracy that yeah. comes down to that. So when you're lining up, when, you're, when you have your shot visualized and you're lining up, you want to start in the exact same spot as, as you did the last shot because there's the accuracy yeah. part. It's impossible for your ball to be accurate if you're physically not being accurate in your process. Um, and it's amazing when we coach that I'll coach people and I'll say, hey, where are you standing? I don't know. I don't know. You have to stand in the same place every time once you're lined and, up. And you don't know the you don't need to know the number. You don't need to know the number of the boards. You don't need to know the number of boards down there. But you need to know the spot. Yeah. Like you need to know. And it doesn't have to have a numerical value. Help that out. <laughs> so it's uh yeah you have to stand in the same place. So say so once we're standing in the same place, what's next? Well, uh, at the end of the shot, there has to be a, a good framework. There has to be balance, right? Because if you're throwing a shot and one shot you're in perfect balance and then the next shot you step off, well, you went through the, the visualization, you have your targeting system, you know where you want the ball to lay down, you know where you want to go down. But that execution from bad balance, how are you supposed to throw the same shot you just did with good balance with bad balance? Um, so at the end of the shot, balance is everything. So when you do your visualization, Make sure when you're, when you're in the process of executing that shot that you end the exact same way that you want to every single time. Yeah. And sometimes when you're bowling tournaments and you're bowling a lot of games, 
fatigue sets in, yep. you know, and that, that's, that's kind of the hard part. But every single time you visualize your shot, you have to think, make sure I'm in balance the shot because that's how you produce an accurate uh, picture and an actual accurate shot. Yeah, I think a good statement is I mean, what you said is before we can be accurate on the lanes, we need to be accurate with our body, we need to be accurate with our feet. So it's extremely important to stand in the same place, finish in the same place. You know, if you're not accurate with your feet and one time you slide on 20 and then the next time you slide on 21 or 22, that is going to change your angle, that is going to change your trajectory and your ball is going to go over a different path. So it's extremely important that you know, once we have our targeting system that we have the proper fundamentals to get to the same place every time. Yeah, well, it's all the process, right? So like we, we want to throw strikes, we want to play the lanes correctly, we want to shoot high scores and be accurate and be all that great jazz. But there's a process that comes to yes. it. And the process happens right here. This is your wheelhouse. Um, so the, the process is visualization and then executing the shot. Um, and then executing the shot revolves this, this, this framework right here, it's your body and you have to be accurate with your body, you have to be comfortable with your body, and you have to be confident with your body. Um, that all doesn't include down there. So right here is, is the most important part. <laughs> you, yourself, and your body and your mind, um, that is what's going to lead you to become a better bowler uh, in visualization and then executing the shot, and then great balance. You gotta have balance. Um, so those three things. So why don't you give us a shot here? Okay. Talk Let's us through your visualization. Talk to us about how you're getting lined up. Um, what you're kind of looking at, what you want your ball to do. You know, and I, like, there's oil on the lane, but it's invisible. So when we talk about painting that picture of the visualization, the picture includes the oil pattern. So we can't see that, but in our heads, we're seeing something or else we wouldn't know where to throw the ball. So you're painting your own picture, but his picture of the oil pattern is different than my picture. So right. your visualization process starts with what the oil pattern is and where you want the ball to go. So when I'm standing up here, I'm thinking, okay, there's, uh, there's hook here and hang here, and I need to fit my ball in between that, right? And so I take my ball, and I stand, and then I just make sure that my mental picture of the oil pattern, where there's hook, where there's hang, you know, whatever picture I um, put together, I just make sure that I start at the beginning of the lane, and then I kind of draw a line to where I want my ball to go down lane, in between, the, you know, those, yeah. that hook, and. Um, and then when I make sure I'm solid on that, I put my ball up, get ready, make sure I got my target down lane, and then I look at the arrow. So I, I make sure I got my target down lane, yeah. but I, when I execute my shot, I look at the arrows. Okay. So make sure I got my, my target down lane, look at the arrows, and then I go. Try not to flat 10. Balance. Balance. Ten back. See, it was easy to balance Don't that shot back. right there. But after eight games of a tournament, it isn't so easy no. to balance that shot right there. So there you go, guys. Super basic fundamentals of the bowling targeting. You have your focal points. Be accurate with your body. Repeat shots. You get that stuff down. Visualize. You're going to be accurate, and you're already on the right track on how to get lined up and throw strikes. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. And if you enjoyed this video and want more tips like this, please check out the free gift below. We give you a drill that not only we use, but all of our students use. It's called the seven arrows drill. It's a drill that's going to help you improve your versatility. And it's something that we are practicing all the time. So click the link below, check out that free gift. We'll see you guys later.